Hi everyone. The topic for today is very important, especially for those students who are freshers in RBI prep or जो पहली बार अपना exam देने वाले हैं. Of course, जिन लोगों ने experience किया हुआ है, a lot of information provided out there will be repetition for them. But कुछ important बातें हैं जो मैं आपके साथ share करूँगा, which will help you understand if you are not able to clearly phase one of RBI itself. तो सबसे पहले टॉपिक क्या है टॉपिक है आरबीआई का फेज वन कंडक्ट किस तरह से होता है नाउ हेयर आई एम नॉट ओनली गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू विद इन्फॉर्मेशन बेसिक इन्फॉर्मेशन तो देंगे ही बट उसके साथ साथ आई विल बी डूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ एनालिसिस एज वेल कि वो इन्फॉर्मेशन हमारे लिए यूजफुल कैसे है एंड हाउ टू यूज दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन टू क्लियर द एग्जामिनेशन फास्टर देन अदर्स बेटर देन अदर्स विद लेस एफर्ट देन अदर्स ज्यादा हार्डवर्क के साथ साथ ज्यादा स्मार्ट वर्क किस तरह से करना है Using whatever analysis I'm going to present here. Phase one जो होता है उसमें खाली knowledge important नहीं होती है In fact, phase two में भी नहीं होती इंटरव्यू interview में भी नहीं होती A lot of lot of other things are also important along with your knowledge. उस दूसरी चीज को what else is important other than your knowledge, उसको हम आज identify करने की कोशिश करेंगे and we'll try and understand how to use that better. So why is it actually important? टू नो अबाउट वाई फेज वन इज कंडक्टेड फेज वन होता ही क्यों है उसकी इंफॉर्मेशन वाई इज इट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू नो देर आर थ्री मेजर रीजन बिहाइंड दैट नंबर वन इट वी हेल्प यू सिमुलेट द सेम एनवायरमेंट द सेम एनवायरमेंट बिफोर एक्चुअली द एग्जामिनेशन जो भी फाइनल एग्जाम होगा आपका आरबीआई का बिफोर दैट एग्जामिनेशन समथिंग दैट वी कॉल्ड मॉक्स दैट इज अमुलेशन इट विल हेल्प यू simulate the exam environment better if you are aware about how is the exam conducted and that simulation will automatically help you in practicing exam mein jo bhi unpredictability hoti hai whatever unpredictability uh, uh, you know shocking things uh, unknown things uh, you experience in the examination we try to minimize that through this simulation now it is not just enough for you to take mocks and just start writing mocks you also have to understand the nitty gritties behind how the examination is conducted so that you can keep those things in mind usko hum dheere dheere samjhenge do not worry about that so the first point why is it important for us to understand how is rbi phase 1 conducted is so that you can simulate that before the actual examination and through that simulation you can practice enough if you practice enough automatically the unpredictability level will go down and your confidence plus your scores will start going up okay i hope it is clear isko hum niche discuss bhi karenge ek bar aur the second uh, reason why we are discussing how is phase 1 conducted is time management now especially in phase 1 it is less about knowledge and more about time management and we will discuss that again below time management kis tarah se important hai aapke paas time kam hai you have only 120 minutes that is 2 hours and you have to deal with four subjects now that requires a lot of shifting of the brain it's like shifting gears in the brain aapki car do second gear pe it's running smoothly you are in traffic you're not discomfort in any kind of discomfort now you have to shift to three you have to shift to four then you have to shift to second if you do that too much the engine starts heating up you know fuel consumption goes up fuel economy goes down engine starts heating up okay that's why on highways we have higher fuel efficiency because you don't have to shift the gears too much now the same thing happens here in rbi examination because there are four subjects in come you know compressed together in two hours and that too of a decent level very high level nowadays you have to shift your gears a lot i'm talking about the gears of the brain if you want to be efficient in that scenario you have to learn how to manage that two hours so that it seems like four hours something like four hours to you ठीक है ना आपको उसी दो घंटे को इस तरह से यूज करना है मैनेज करना है टाइम को जिससे कि वो बढ़ा लगे दैट इज ऑब्जेक्टिव है उससे आपकी शिफ्टिंग ऑफ गैस विल गो डाउन ऑटोमेटिकली फ्यूल एफिशिएंसी दैट मींस एफिशिएंसी ऑफ योर ब्रेन एक्यूरेसी ऑफ योर ब्रेन ऑल दैट विल स्टार्ट गोइंग अप सो इट इज वेरी सिमिलर टू हाउ अ कार इज रन आई थिंक दैट एनोलॉजी हेल्प्स ठीक है ये हो गया हमारा सेकेंड टाइम मैनेजमेंट द थर्ड इज लर्निंग टू क्लियर सेक्शनल दट ऑफ नाउ A lot of students surprisingly are not aware that there is a sectional cutoff. Even if they are aware, they don't know how important is it or how can we make use 
of whatever we have in the examination beforehand so that we are, we are confident about clearing the sectional cutoff. हम किस तरह से time management करें, किस तरह से strategize करें, how do we study, how do we plan, how do we simulate the same thing enough number of times beforehand so that we are able to clear the sectional cutoff very easily. We are able to uh, smoothly sail over the examination. Okay. Remember, this is a qualifying examination. Iske jo marks hai, wo merit mein nahi jate in your final selection. So, you do not have to score 40 50 marks above the cutoff. You have to make sure that you're comfortable, uh, you know, above the cutoff, probably 15 to 20 marks above the cutoff. That is a very decent level. That's where you need to be. Isiliya smart work yaha pe bhoat zyada important ho jata hai. Chalye, let us start. Uh, we have understood the why. Let us start with some information and then we'll try and analyze this, this information simultaneously. Agar hum subjects ki baat kare, there are four subjects. As I have said before, general awareness, reasoning, English, quant. Isko hum maths bhi bolte hain. A lot of students feel that quant or maths is unrelated, but it's the same. Now, the sequence of these four subjects as is asked in the examination is this only. You cannot change the sequence. Please, isko yaad rakhiega. Cannot change the sequence. Okay. If you are given GA first, you cannot jump to reasoning and start that first. So, sabse pehli cheez jo aapko karni hai, you have to learn to be comfortable with this sequence. That quant will be given to me at the end. Quant is difficult. Plus, quant mein time bhi kam hai. Plus, there are calculations involved. I'm already tired. I've already spent 90 minutes on other subjects. So, my brain is already heated up. How do I manage quant? Now, this is possible only when you simulate. Only when you practice it enough number of times. Ab exam se pehle, consciously ye practice karoge, tabhi aapke quant mein number bar jayenge. Do teen number aapke wahi bar jayenge. A lot of Students go without simulation or without this realization. Here, quant last me hoga. Usme I'm, I will be already tired, so I have to manage it accordingly. Okay, agar they keep practicing quant before the examination, uh, uh, you know, on a standalone basis. Okay, agar they will not pick up, you know, do anything for 90 minutes. They'll just directly pick up quant, uh, practice 30 questions, take a mock of 30 questions. They're scoring well. They're doing well. But as soon as they enter the final exam, exam they realize that quant end mein aaya, I'm already tired by then. I, I'm not able to understand. I'm not able to decipher the question. I'm not able to apply that logic instantly, which I was able to do in my mocks. It's not exam pressure. It is simply that you did not understand and you did not use the sequence to your advantage. So, you have to practice karna padega. This is where simulation comes in. Okay, I hope it's clear. Sequence yehi rehega, you have to practice it enough number of times before the examination and this sequence cannot change. Marks that are allotted are GA 80, Reasoning 60, English 30 and Quant 30. A mistake that a lot of students end up making is that they rely too much on GK and too little on Quant and English. Now, it's, in, it's good enough to rely too much on GK but it doesn't mean that you rely too little on Quant. Okay, because isme kya hota hai? students end up missing their sectional cutoff. Because ek to wo padh nahi rahe hai isme. Number one, 30 marks wale mein, quant mein because they're already weak and they don't want to spend a lot of time on this. Plus, they're probably not simulating. Okay, aur wo quant aaya bhi last mein, so they're already tired. So they're not able to manage in that uh, heated environment. Jinka, jin mein aja, unka dimag bhi heated up hai. Exam pressure bhi hai plus quant bhi last mein aaya. They have not practiced it before and they are not even confident when it comes to quant. So please do not make, make that mistake. You can rely more on GK, but that doesn't mean that you rely less on quant. Isko bhi aapko utni importance deni padegi, jitni isko deni chahiye. Okay. This is the marks weightage. Time. GMA 25 minutes, reasoning 45, English 25 and quant 25. Now, why am I mentioning this? Because it is plain information. Hai. The reason is mentioned here. GMA, you get 25 minutes, which is enough for you to attempt the entire GA paper even twice. If you start question in 25 minutes, mein aram se kar sakto. in 10 minutes, you are normally able to cover 60 to 70 questions. So, you have to revise. Karna hai. 
रिवाइज करने से क्या होगा योर एक्यूरेसी विल गो अप वेन यू रिवाइज ओके एंड एट द सेम टाइम योर अटेम्प्ट विल ऑल्सो गो अप बिकॉज जब आप एक ही क्वेश्चन को दो बार देखोगे इन द फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट यू प्रॉब्लम वर नॉट एबल टू यू नो अटेम्प्ट इट आपने छोड़ दिया सेकेंड टाइम यू कम बैक टू इट यू रियलाइज ओके दिस इज द लॉजिक आई कैन अप्लाई बिकॉज दिस इज द फर्स्ट सब्जेक्ट दैट इज आस्ट इसमें क्या होता है योर ब्रेन इज टू कूल जैसे डीजल इंजन में होता है अगेन ब्रेन इज टू कूल सो इट टेक्स टाइम टू स्टार्ट रनिंग ओके उसको पांच सात मिनट लग जाते हैं अपनी एफिशिएंसी पे आने पे आफ्टर दैट यू आर एबल टू इंटरकनेक्ट अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आप लॉजिक यूज कर पाते हो वो सब होने लगता है फिर ऑटोमेटिकली ओके तो दिस इज वॉट यू हैव टू डू एंड दिस इज वॉट यू हैव टू डू रेगुलरली सिमुलेशन में भी ये करना है आपको ऐसा नहीं सोचेंगे यार फाइनल एग्जाम में रिवाइज कर लेंगे अभी तो हो रहा है दस मिनट में पंद्रह मिनट लेट्स रेस्ट Don't do that. Use these twenty-five minutes properly. Jaha pe in your first attempt your score was seventy. In your second attempt with revision, it can shoot up to it was sixty. It can shoot up to seventy as well. Okay na? Itna zada difference ab bana sakte ho easily. And ten marks is a lot. Okay. Five number bhi extra mil gaye. That is a lot. Okay na? Usse aapka pura exam upar se niche niche se upar ho sakta hai. So this was about GA. Ye humne ek naya टाइम मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रैटेजी सीखी दैट विथ ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स एटी क्वेश्चन यू कैन यूज दैट टाइम बेटर इफ यू अटेम्प्ट ऑल द क्वेश्चन ट्वाइस रिवाइज करोगे तो द सेकेंड इज रीजनिंग फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स उसमें टाइम मिलता है नाउ यू हैव फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स यू हैव सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन ऑटोमेटिकली यू हैव लेस टाइम टू कवर मोर क्वेश्चन सो वॉट इज द एग्जामिनर ट्राइंग टू टेल यू प्लीज लर्न टू पिक द राइट क्वेश्चन डो नॉट ट्राई टू अटेम्प्ट ऑल द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट गो टू योर स्ट्रॉन्ग एरिया स्ट्रॉन्ग क्वेश्चन जहां पे आपको कॉन्फिडेंस है अटेम्प्ट दोज क्वेश्चन देन कम टू द वीक एरिया तो आपको एग्जाम से पहले सिमुलेशन में यू टू लर्न दिस एंड दिस इज अलॉट अबाउट टाइम मैनेजमेंट एक छोटा सा एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ दिस ईयर आई रिमेम्बर आई वॉज टेकिंग द इंटरव्यू ऑफ निधि यादव हु केम फिफ्थ इन दिस ईयर एग्जामिनेशन आर बी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू शी टोल्ड मी कि वो क्या करती थी लेट से देर आर देर आर फोर्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन इन रीजनिंग फर्स्ट टू फाइव क्वेश्चन आर यू नो वन पजल ओके सिक्स टू टेन आर सेकेंड पजल सो वॉट शी वो डू इज आपके पास पांच मार्क करने के ऑप्शन होते हैं ओके वन इज येलो वन इज ग्रीन वन इज ब्लू वन इज रेड वो उसमें से कोई एक पिकअप कर लेगी लेट से शी पिकड अप ब्लू एंड शील मार्क ऑल दो फाइव या फिर वन एंड फाइव शील मार्क ब्लू सो नाउ शी नोज वन टू फाइव इज जस्ट आर जस्ट पार्ट ऑफ वन बिगर क्वेश्चन बिकॉज इट इज अ पजल Now it's easier for her to for her to juggle around in the entire paper. Forty-five questions, but otherwise it takes a lot of time to uh, you know go forth and come back. Here, which one question was left? Or then that was marked? You know, it, you end up wasting three four minutes in in this in this uh, scenario itself. And in that, your concentration is also bad. So she realized through simulation. She realized I can use my time better if I if I'm able to mark the first question off that bigger puzzle. And then that bigger puzzle is easier to solve. If I if I'm able to mark the first question of that bigger puzzle in the last question with uh, one color, so she has marked one color. Se diya. Now it's easier for her to recognize that this is a question of one to five. Ka. Okay, so if she has more time in the end, she can come to that question. If she has less time, she knows that the fifth question will be bigger. In two three minutes, it will not be possible. She knows not to pick it up. Okay, so she doesn't have to go through it again and again. She doesn't have to go through it again and again. ये होती है आर्ट ऑफ लर्निंग टू पिक दिस इज जस्ट वन स्मॉल एग्जाम्पल हाउ यू इम्प्रूव योर सेल्फ इन दी आर्ट ऑफ लर्निंग टू पिक ओके दिस इज वॉट यू हैव टू लर्न बिकॉज यहाँ पे मिनट्स कम है क्वेश्चन ज्यादा है थर्ड पे आते हैं इंग्लिश थर्टी मार्क्स ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स इंग्लिश इज कंपेरेटिवली ईजियर इसलिए यहाँ पे आपको ऑब्जेक्टिव होने वाला है टू कवर ऑल द क्वेश्चन आपको अपने आप को ट्रेन इस तरह से करना है यू टू मैनेज योर टाइम इन सच अ वे that you're able to attempt all the questions in 25 minutes now again one small example how do you do that very small example jo reasoning reading comprehension hota hai a lot of students now there, there are two ways of going through a reading comprehension number one you read the entire uh, comprehension and then you go to the questions number two you read the questions understand what is being asked or what theme is being talked about there already have an idea about what could be mentioned in the comprehension and then read the comprehension as soon as you get the answer of first question or second or third or fourth or fifth whatever question you go to the comprehension you start reading it you feel that the answer to fifth question is in first paragraph you go to the fifth question you match it and you mark it 
you have already done fifth question in a matter of one or two minutes probably. That's how you save time. Okay, you don't have to understand the entire comprehension in order to answer one or two or three questions out of five questions. That's how you save time. So, in this, what will happen? You have time left. Even then, you can complete the entire reading comprehension. Okay. So, this is a small example, and this is about English. Thirty questions, twenty-five minutes. Your objective is to cover all questions. Say time management. Here, it will be straightforward. This will be like this. The last one is quant or maths. 30 questions, 25 minutes. Here again, because quant is tricky. Last part of your paper, you're already tired. Your brain is slow. You cannot, in any case, cover 30 questions in 25 minutes. Here, you have to learn to pick. Okay, na? So, why am I telling you all? You will think that you will try to maximize all of your questions. Because there is sectional cutoff. Now, if there is a sectional cutoff, let's say 30 questions, mein se, Sectional cutoff is let's say 4.5. So, you have to take 15 numbers. Okay? You have to take 20 numbers. In 25 minutes, you can humanly, because, because the level of the paper is good, especially quant and reasoning, humanly, you can cover a maximum of 15 questions. Even if you're very smart, you can cover 15, 16 questions. That's it. You can cover some of them. So, 12, 13 maximum number will come to you. If the level of the examination is good, quant is a good level. Cut off is all over the place. You have to go You do not have to attempt all the 30 questions. That's why here also you have to learn to pick. Now you have to come to one day. It will come slowly. So in simulation, you try and learn this art, develop upon this art. And you can do it easily. You will start with presence of mind. Start karoge, simulation, mocks se deal karoge, you will start learning it. Remember, mocks are not only about how much you are scoring, it is about learning these things. These things you have to learn in mocks ke andar, along with simulation, time management, which I have told you above. These things you have to do, then you have mastered phase one of RBI. And then the question that I asked when we started, how is RBI phase one conducted? That is when it will be clear to you and that is when it will help you clear phase 1 itself. So how is RBI phase 1 conducted? Ye pehle aapko clear hona chahiye. If you want to clear RBI phase 1 with ease, jisse ki aapko pata lag jai, ki I have to focus upon these things before and only so that when I go in for the examination, I have confidence se jata hon, aur mera unpredictability ke jo proportion hai, ratio hai, percentage hai, that is minimized. बहुत कम चांसेस है कि कुछ भी अनप्रेडिक्टेबल आने वाला है, because I prepared for everything, ठीक है? So this was all for this session. I hope it was useful. कोई doubt हो, कुछ भी पूछना चाहते हो, you can very well ask me. Comment section में कोई feedback देना चाहते हो, you want me to make a video on something else, we can talk about that as well. आप comment में डाल दीजिए, and I will try and make as many videos as possible so that I can clear your doubts and tone your preparation जिससे कि आप ज़्यादा अच्छे से exam दे पाएँ, ठीक है? This was all for this video. All the best guys. See you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.